All right, let's talk about something that is literally beneath us. Soil. It's not just dirt. It's so much cooler than that. Think of soil as an unsung hero of our planet. It's where plants grow, where water is stored, and it's even used to create some amazing crafts. In this video, we'll explore what soil is made of, why it is so important, and all the fascinating ways we use soil. By the end, I guarantee you will never see the ground beneath you the same way again. Let's jump right in. Let's start with soil structure. Soil structure? What is that? Well, think of it as soil personality. It's all about how the particles in the soil are arranged. These particles come together in different shapes and each shape has a unique role to play. The first one we have here is columnar uh, soil structure or columnar type. Just like the name suggests and as you're seeing in this picture, you'll, these are tiny pillar-like shapes standing tall in the soil. These are formed over a long period of time and they are seen in dry salty areas and these type of soil structure is not so good for healthy plant growth. Next up we have granular structure or granular type. These are small crumply particles that make the soil loose and airy perfect for the roots to spread out and grow. Right? Yes. Then there is laminar type or laminar structure type like thin stacked layers of soil on top of one another like a biscuit being stacked one top of the another. That's the laminar structure for you. Thin layers stacked neatly. Right? And next type is block type where these are chunky blocks of soil that look firm but they actually allow water and air to pass through them easily. This can be worked on for a healthy plant growth. So these are the different type of soil structure. The shape of these particles has a big impact on how plants grow and how soil handles water and air. Now why does soil structure matter? Well, it can literally make or break how plants thrive. Here is why. Oxygen for roots. Good soil structure means there is enough space for air to move, giving plants the oxygen they need to grow. Without it, roots can struggle and so will the plants. Next, better drainage. Well structured soil allows water to flow easily. This prevents water logging and helps plants absorb just the right amount of moisture. In short, healthy soil equals healthy plants. It is as simple as that. Now here is a big question that humanity has been asking forever. What can soil do for us? What can soil do for us? Soil is like nature's ultimate multi-tool. It's way more than just something plants grow in. Let, let's look at few amazing things soil can do. Again, these are only few amazing things soil can do. First of which is plant conservation, the most important one. Soil provides the nutrients and support plants need to grow. Without it, we wouldn't have the green cover we rely on. We wouldn't have any plant-based food to survive. Next is plasticity. Plasticity is one of the most interesting traits of the soil. You can shape, add little water and you can shape it into just about anything. Earthen pots, bricks, lamps or even statues. Once baked, these creations become hard and durable, that is lasting for years. And lastly, we can talk about water conservation. Soil has the ability to hold water, storing it in lakes, ponds and buns so that we can use it throughout the year. So soil is not something just beneath our feet, it is working wonders for us every single day. Lastly, let's talk about some special types of soil. Yes, not all soil is same. Soil is wonderfully diverse. Let's check out some few unique types of soil and their uses. First, we have China clay, also known as kaolin. It's white in color and used to make crockery, bathroom tiles and even lab equipments. Next up, there is this shadu soil which is this white in color and this is specifically used for crafting statues and idols. 
Then we have this red color soil, which is very popular and is known as terracotta soil. This reddish color soil is perfect for making decorative pots, artistic pieces and even water pots. I'm sure you have got something made of terracotta at home. It could be the water storing pot or it could be the flower pot. Now make sure when you go home, check out if there is a terracotta pot at your home. And here is the most interesting and the fun one that is Multani soil. It is the star of skin care. Apply it on your face and glowing skin is practically guaranteed. Yes, soil is used to enhance skin. So as you can see here, soil is incredibly versatile. From growing plants to creating art and even enhancing your skincare routine. Can you believe that? Soil is a blessing we walk on every day. So next time, when you get a little bit of soil on your shirt or pants, don't think of it as just dirt. It supports life, conserves water and helps us create beautiful things and is an essential part of nature. As human beings, let's learn to respect and cherish soil for all the things that it provides us.